Good day, everyone. We will be presenting our research entitled Fashion Economics Among Filipino College Students, a Microeconomic Perspective for Outlook. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Rashid Matthew Sampson, one of the researchers for this paper, along with my fellow researchers, Hans Castillo and Paolo Huesca. Before we begin with the presentation, let's proceed with our presentation overview. Hello, and this is our presentation overview. Firstly, we will introduce you to our abstract. Secondly, to our introduction. Thirdly, to our discussion containing issues and challenges, choices and opportunity costs. Then, weighing present costs with future benefits. And then, fourthly and finally, we will end it all with our conclusion. Now, let's begin with the abstract of the research paper. The paper discussed fashion economics among Filipino college students in a microeconomic perspective or outlook. It also defined what is fashion economics in terms of how students see it. The, the paper or the research also contains the statement of the problem, which is a what and a how question. Along in the discussion part, we discuss the issues and challenges that Filipino students encounter when it comes to fashion. Along with it are the choices and opportunity costs. And lastly, the weighing present costs with future benefits. And some of the keywords to be noted for are choices, opportunity costs, supply chain, and supply chain bottlenecks. Now, let's proceed with the introduction of what is fashion economics. But first, what is fashion? Fashion is something that is always experiencing constant change, which represents a distinct style on the way a person dresses. So, the title of the research is Fashion Economics Among Filipino College Students, a Microeconomics Perspective or Outlook. So, the very purpose of the research is to determine the issues and challenges that students or college students encounter when it comes to fashion. Next is to determine the choice set of college students and its opportunity cost. And lastly is to weigh the present cost with its future benefit. So the two statement of the problems that was generated by the researchers was first, how does the university dress code affect the fashion choice of students? And second and last is the what influences the fashion trend when it comes to clothing. Now, let's proceed with the discussion part of the paper or the presentation itself. So we will be covering issues and challenges. Next is the choice set and opportunity cost. And lastly, weighing present costs with future benefits. Now, let's proceed with the issues and challenges. Fashion industry itself is not just about beauty and glamour. We also encounter issues such as environmental and social impact, product counterfeiting, adapting to new demands, and inefficient supply chain and distribution. So let's first discuss the issues that affects the Filipino college students. So one of the issues that students encounter is that the shortage of supply of uniform that is available for them in terms of size and the color that they prefer. And another issue is the release date of uniforms, especially for those students who made reservations and those who are waiting for the site that suit them. Well, it practically takes a long period of time for uniforms to be handed out to students who took reservations and for students who are waiting for sites that suit them. And next is that the challenges that also that needs to be address. So one of the challenge is that the production time of uniforms. In line with this is the shortage of materials. And according to 3D Loop, the complex supply chain of this industry also experiences supply chain bottlenecks. And uh, so this includes the following, which are increase in prices of materials used for production. And lastly is the shortage of manpower which is also a challenge which affects the production speed and output of the uniforms. And next, let's proceed with the choice set and opportunity cost. In making the choice set and opportunity cost of fast fashion versus school uniforms, we've uncovered that the optimal choice set of the students 
will generally include more sets of fast fashion attire than the school uniform sets. This is because we've discovered that the cost of a set of fast fashion attire is usually generally cheaper than the price set of a set of school uniform. And in terms of opportunity cost, students will tend to convert more sets of school uniform for a set of fast fashion attire as it is generally cheaper to acquire. Again, its attribute of being cheaper plays a role on this phenomenon. Cost-benefit analysis allows one to make the best decision possible. Advantages and disadvantages weighted using the present cost and future benefits do affect the decision-making process of students in choosing which side to favor. But regardless of the students' choices in mind, the freedom of students to wear garments in any type and style they prefer would be limited to the boundaries set by the institution's policy and values. The university dress code became a limiting factor, but it prioritized the welfare of the university's community. While fashion trends are heavily influenced by social media and marketing, lifestyle, socioeconomic, and environmental consideration, and other factors contextualizing fashion inside the university encourage alignment with the university's objectives and core values. Hello, and I hope you've learned something today. Here are our references, and feel free to peruse them. Try our best. Thank you guys for watching and listening, and I hope you learn from us, and have a good day.